Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and today I wanted to showcase Divi Mega Pro 1.8, which is our latest release of Divi Mega Pro. We uh, released it about a week and a half ago, and Divi Mega Pro 1.8 contains dozens of fixes and enhancements. It's not a flashy uh, feature release with uh, lots of really cool new features, although that is coming, uh, but it uh, is a release with a lot of uh, fixes and enhancements, specifically with mobile, and so, uh, again, I re we released it about a week and a half ago, and so just now getting around to creating the showcase video. So. Uh, let's go ahead and dive right in, and I'm going to showcase some of the new features and fixes, because uh, if you had any uh, issues with the plugin uh, because of some of these things in the past, I'm excited to, to show that uh, they're now fixed. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the, uh, the first thing I do want to uh, share with you is the new mobile enhancements. And so uh, I'm going to be uh, showing a, a video uh, screen recording from the phone uh, to give you the, the full effect from an actual mobile device. Uh, but basically Basically, what we've added is a really cool internal scroll feature so that if the mega menu height is taller than the uh, mobile screen, which can happen a lot on a mobile device, then it, the uh, mega menu content will scroll inside of itself uh, so that you can uh, see the rest of the, of the mega menu. And so um, we've never seen this before uh, for a mega menu on a mobile device, but um, after a lot of research, we figured out that this was the best way to solve that problem of having uh, large mega menus on mobile because if you have a fixed header on mobile, which is pretty popular these days, uh, for example, the new elegantthemes.com website has a fixed header on mobile. And so if you have a large uh, mega menu, then you won't be able to see the lower content. You'll be completely stuck because it won't scroll. And so having this feature where it will internally scroll inside of itself, if and only if the viewport is, or I'm sorry, the, the mega menu content is uh, bigger than the uh, the viewport or the the, the screen. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and show that to you now. And so you can see here, this is the uh, Divi Mega Pro demo website here, uh, which you can look at on your mobile device as well. And so I'm just showing the, the tabs feature here. Of course, you have the, uh, the close button. But here's what I'm talking about here with the contact demo. You can see it. It's taller, and so it actually scrolls inside of itself, revealing the rest of the Mega Menu content. And so this happens automatically out of the box. You don't have to do anything, um, but it'll do that for you really, really easily, which is a, a, a nice elegant solution for when you have a lot of content in your mega menu. And so we're going to be releasing a lot of tutorials on how to optimize your mega menus for mobile and uh, create some uh, really specific mobile experiences uh, for a mega menu. Um, so we're going to be showcasing that. But um, yeah, really excited about this new internal scroll enhancement. We're calling it an enhancement, not a feature. Uh, I guess you could call it a feature if you want. Um, but it's a, a really great solution for mega menus on mobile specifically. So that is the, the first thing uh, that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully uh, you, you find that to be uh, a great solution. We'd love to hear your thoughts, um, love to hear your feedback. And so, of course, I was showing you a video, but you can go to divimegapro.com and you can uh, play with it yourself on your own mobile device and you can let us know what, what your thoughts are and, and everything. Um, and so that is the new internal scroll uh, enhancement of uh, Divi Mega Pro for mobile devices. Um, however, we also have that same feature available on desktop too. So it, you, you probably will see it most on mobile because having content that is taller than the uh, the screen or the viewport is going to be a lot more common with mobile. However, if you have a really big mega menu and then you have maybe a really small laptop screen and you have a fixed header, well, that same internal scroll feature will happen. And so I'm going to make my browser window really, really small here. Obviously, this is not a realistic size of a uh, a laptop screen or, or whatever, but just to kind of show you, um, because the, the me mega menus that I have here on the demo aren't particularly large, and so I have to make the screen really small in order to, to show that to you here. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and activate the contact mega menu. You can see uh, right away that the content of the mega menu goes below the viewport, but I have this fixed header, and so the solution is, Divi Mega Pro will automatically internally scroll inside of itself, and it's able to recognize when the content is bigger than the viewport uh, to kick in that uh, 
internal scroll feature um, or enhancement, whatever you'd like to call it. And so you can see that there. Um, and so <clears throat> it does it nicely here. And then of course we have the close button feature, which has been a feature uh, since the beginning. Um, so that is the internal scroll on uh, desktop sizes. And so uh, particularly when you have a fixed header like this, if your, your Mega Mini goes past the viewport, then there's no way to scroll it because the Mega Mini is attached to the fixed header. And so that's how we came up with that internal scroll feature. Um, so yeah, super excited about that. Um, and so uh, other features we wanted to talk about briefly is we have uh, all new documentation for Divi Mega Pro. And to go to the document, uh, documentation page uh, on the Divi Life website, you'll see we have an all new getting started that is updated because uh, the previous getting started tutorial was kind of pre, uh, it, Visual Builder was there, but it was pre um, new um, back end builder experience. And so we've updated uh, the tutorial there to, to reflect uh, you know, what Divi looks like today. Um, and then also a lot of new tutorials here, uh, everything from uh, customizing the width of your, your Mega Menu, uh, the different trigger types that are included in Divi Mega Pro, uh, different exit types for your Divi Mega Menu, um, setting an exit delay. And so um, a lot of these features have been featured since day one, but we didn't have great documentation to showcase it uh, to tell you about it and show you how to use it. And so that's finally changed now. And so um, how to add close buttons to your Divi Mega Menu, how to disable your Mega Menu on mobile, desktop, or tablet, how to set a fixed height of your Divi Mega Menu or Mega Tooltip. And so if you wanted to, for example, that internal scroll feature that we have uh, that automatically kicks in when the viewport is taller than um, the, uh, or I'm sorry, the Mega Menu is taller than the viewport. Um, but if you wanted a fixed height so it'll scroll inside of itself, even if it's not on a small screen, well, you can do that. You can set a fixed height. And so uh, then anytime the content is more than that fixed height, then it'll just nicely scroll inside of the, the Mega Menu or Mega Tooltip. And so um, that brings us to the, uh, Mega Tooltip. So we have an all new tutorial on how to create a Mega Tooltip. And so a Mega Tooltip is essentially a Mega Menu, the same concept, only it's somewhere else on the page. And so you can use it to create these beautiful uh, hover pop-ups um, or you can activate them on click as well um, to basically uh, add in context additional information for your user. And so uh, we, we obviously, we have Divi overlays, um, the most popular pop-up plugin for Divi, um, but sometimes a pop-up might be a little too invasive. And so a uh, mega tool tip is, is right there where they're at. It doesn't take up the whole screen. It's just a in-context hover pop-up. And so we have a whole new tutorial on, uh, that showcases um, and shows you, walks you through how to create that using Divi Mega Pro. And so mega tool tips, we, invented the concept. Um, we've never seen anything like this before um, on any website, um, especially for Divi. And so, uh, yeah, really excited to, to finally have a good solid tutorial that walks you through how to create a mega tooltip using Divi Mega Pro. And so um, you might be asking what exactly is a mega tooltip, but I'm still not understanding. And so I'm um, going to go ahead and, and, and show you the uh, tutorial, or I'm sorry, the, the showcase video that we have that uh, basically walks you through um, what a mega tool tip is. And uh, yeah, so you can kind of see what that looks like here. So that is what Mega Tooltips look like. And that was taken actually from our original uh, Divi Mega Pro promo video when we launched the plugin. And so we, we just created a condensed version to show off what a Mega Tooltip is because everyone knows that Divi Mega Pro can create uh, really awesome looking uh, feature rich 
mega menus for your Divi website, but so many people don't know about the mega tooltip feature. And so um, I wanted to, to showcase that as well as obviously provide here the uh, mega tooltip tutorial uh, that we recorded uh, in the last couple of weeks and uh, just now is uploaded to our website as of yesterday. And so these new tutorials is sort of a precursor to a whole new documentation center and, and back-end dashboard of the Divi Life website. So more more is to come. But wanted to get these all these videos tutorials um, up there so you can uh, start utilizing them as soon as possible. And so uh, the tutorials is um, next major thing. Um, and then there's a lot of additional. Uh, bug fixes. So you can look in the, the Divi Mega Pro change log for other things that, that are uh, fixed in version 1.8. And so you can see here there is quite a few. There's even some here that didn't make it onto the change log. Uh, but a lot of, of, of fixes and enhancements. Um, so you can look through those. Uh, a couple I, I do want to highlight though is uh, that was annoying a lot of users because we would get a lot of uh, support tickets for it is the licensing page. So we have a whole new licensing page for Divi Mega Pro uh, that is available in uh, the 1.8 release. And then it's also coming to our other plugins, Divi overlays and Divi bars soon. Uh, but basically the licensing page, not only does it look prettier, but it actually works a lot better too. Uh, we had uh, issues with customers um, not being able to activate their license key because uh, the, the previous uh, licensing page that we had, which was kind of the, uh, the template um, provided by our e-commerce system, uh, licensing system, um, didn't work that great. It would re require you to save it and then activate it. And if you didn't do it in the right order, it wouldn't work right. So we finally rebuilt it from scratch. So now it looks better. It works better. And so you don't have to waste time uh, trying to activate your license. Um, and then uh, apart from that, another major release is the uh, infinite or uh, major fix, I should say, is the infinite spinning issue has finally been fixed. Now, this isn't a, a, a bug that was specific to Divi Mega Pro or um, any of our, our Divi Life plugins. Um, it could actually happen with any custom post type with Divi's backend visual builder. And so basically what would happen is you create your, your post, your, your mega menu, your mega tooltip, whatever, or, or even Divi overlays. Um, and then you, uh, you hit save or you hit publish and then it would reload. And instead of showing what you just built, what you just designed, it would show either like your homepage or it would pull into the visual builder, uh, like your, your top header with an inf uh, with the, the loading wheel or the infinite spinning wheel, uh, loading, uh, animation as we would call it. And so basically the, the fix to that is to go and resave your, your permalinks. And, and again, this wasn't specific to our plugins, um, but it would happen a lot uh, because our plugins use custom post types. And so any custom post type would um, ex could experience that issue. And so we finally uh, managed to figure out a fix um, on our own. And so we, we implemented that in Divi Mega Pro, and then it's coming for Divi overlays and, and Divi bars as well uh, very shortly. And so that is now fixed. And then uh, another uh, issue that, that was fixed a few versions ago is the inline styles issue um, that customers would, would be confused about where in order to see your button styling, you'd have to go into the, the builder and turn on uh, inline styles. We finally have that fixed uh, and so that was due to another Divi update. And so finally got that resolved. So lots of fixes and enhancements. Um, so super excited about this release. And this is kind of a release that will pave the way for a lot of new features that are coming down the pipeline that we've been planning for a while, um, but trying to get these things resolved first. And so uh, we would love your feedback. Definitely reach out to us if something's not working. Uh, reach out to us if you have uh, a feature request or a enhancement request or, or something. Uh, we want Divi Mega Pro to be uh, the most powerful, the most uh, feature rich and the most widely used uh, mega menu plugin for Divi. And so um, we, we uh, listen to our customers. So um, yeah, definitely let us know your, your thoughts and feedback and requests and all of that good stuff. So uh, hopefully you found this video helpful, kind of showcase the uh, version 1.8 of Divi Mega Pro. And uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned. A lot of exciting things, new tutorials, uh, new features uh, coming out across uh, very, very shortly. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.